Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Adrian's Digital Basement 2. This is gonna be something a little bit different than I've ever done before, and we're gonna see how it works out. I was out walking in the neighborhood the other day, and I found um, these VHS tapes just sort of sitting on the street. <laughs> so I figured I'd grab them because, uh, well, there's labels written on them, but none of it's really comprehensible, uh, whatever the, the, the person wrote on there. So I figured this would be kind of fun to look through these tapes, and why don't I do it on a video? So this is Adrian's Digital Basement, more like Adrian's Analog Attic. First one here, it's like one of these really small tapes. Uh, basically, I think it's a T10. Oh, yes, it is, T10. Nothing's written on the label at all, so maybe there's some kind of promo material or something on here. Next up is something in a sleeve, and it says TV Stuff, and it's also a very short tape. I don't even think this is... Oh, look, T5, a five-minute VHS tape. Uh, keep in mind, all this stuff, like I said, was just on the street in a box. So I actually put them into a VCR, this VCR, and I fast forwarded it all the way to the end of the tape and then rewound the tape. So they were all sort of like left at weird positions in the middle. This tape here has interesting yellow spindles. I don't think I've ever seen this before. And it says made in the USA right here. So that is kind of a rarity. This must be an older tape, obviously, because I really don't think they were making VHS tapes in the US for very long. It's very solid and heavy feeling as well. And on the spine here, music, something, and something. And one thing that is interesting, even though it's a T120, it seems like it's, it's all the way rewound. The tape seems to take up the entire spool, which is not the case on newer tapes where the tape is thinner, probably the stuff they would use for like T180s, and uh, therefore it doesn't take up the whole spindle. Here's a TDK tape. It's also really sturdily made, heavy. The tape takes up the entire spindle. Super Avalin high standard, fancy. Can I make anything out of this label? Die Hard or Die Harp? <laughs> is that what this is? Die Harp? I'm assuming it's Die Hard, but it looks like it's been crossed off. And Meditation, maybe? And on the back here, does it say anything about where it's made? No, but it has a cool textured pattern across the entire back of the tape, which is different than this one, which you can see is like just textured plastic here, and it has these grooves here. So there's some subtle differences, oops, between these tapes, and I'm knocking things over. Next up, I just grabbed a random tape here. This is a JVC, and it says, uh, the inventor of VHS, high performance, 120, six hours in EP mode, SX. And on the back here, what do we got here? High performance designed for repeated use. So SX was obviously their lowest tier tape. Three stars, three stars, and four stars, VHS. EHG Pro and S-XG, which was a super VHS tape. Five stars all the way across. It does say down here, assembled in the USA and a lifetime warranty, very fancy. Now I have no idea if these are the tapes that actually came in those sleeves. Uh, this is a JVC tape at least, but this tape is a lot lighter than those other ones we looked at. And it looks like the tape spindle is not completely full, even though this is definitely a T120 as it says right there. This label, The String Theory by David something or other. So these tapes might be super boring, but you never know what you're gonna find on tapes. <laughs> Maybe there's, I don't know, some kind of classic stuff. Uh, we have another tape here, it's a TDK label, but it doesn't say TDK. The writing has washed off. And on the spine here, gosh, what does this say? So it is a TDK T120RU, OPB, so Oregon Public Broadcasting. So that's our PBS here. Art Beat 2002 something, I can't tell. I really can't tell. Next tape here says something, 2001. It's also a much cheaper feeling tape. Tape is not filled up on the spindle. It says here on the back that it's a scotch tape, has a little sticker. <laughs> Another tape here. This is a pretty much identical to the last tape I, uh, we just saw. It says TDK there though, which is different, I guess, than this tape. This one says Scotch. I thought the rest of it looks the same. Like the bottom looks the same with the, uh, the pattern on here. Oh, this has a little window here, but it doesn't say made in USA or Japan or anything there. They just took that off once they started making these in random countries. And we have two more JVC tapes. Um, this is a really heavy one as well. Dynarec Hi-Fi Titanium Oxide. This is some fanciness. The writing is very hard to read. Some stuff is written on there. And on the spine here, well, 
It's a whole lot of things that are scribbled out and I can't really make heads or tails of any of it. And on the back here, ah, made in Japan. Nice. And has these lines here, different texture. Feels like a really quality video cassette, unlike a lot of these. So it's funny to think like how cheapified these things got just throughout time while VHS were still being used. Like maybe this tape was from the late 90s and this was from the 80s. I don't know, but this tape feels really, really nice quality. And this last one here is a cheap tape because it's light. The spindle's not full. Nothing written on the label there. And this says case of something, September 2002. So this might be a super boring video because everything on these tapes might be incredibly boring, but maybe there's some lost treasures. And I don't know if the person who left this on the street, just on the side of the road, well, I assume they wouldn't have left stuff on there if there was highly personal information. And there may also be copyrighted stuff on here, which means that I'm not going to be able to show that either. Although I'm recording the audio from the VCR separately, so I can cut that in and out. That way I don't have copyrighted music that gives me a copyright strike. But even the content match can match video as well, so I have to be careful about that. So, all right, so let's just start with this tape. This is the last one we just looked at. Let's stick that into the VCR here. And the blue screen you're seeing here is coming from the VCR itself. Oh, and I have a little headphone here I can put in my ear so I can hear the audio play. I don't want to record the sound. Let me turn make sure the speaker's down. Okay. So this is right at the start of the tape. This tape is completely rewound and... Well, this is what we're looking at. I think this might be from the news or something. Take over from there to be with my grandmother. Angela is the professional paid by the state agency. Respect. All right, well, there's nothing really to say about this. This is probably some type of a, a documentary or a news segment about people who care for their elders. Okay, I'm going to fast forward and see what else is on this tape. I grabbed the remote control, which allows me to see where we are on the tape. And it looks like if I hit... Uh, let's see here, there's a button for display here we go okay we're an hour and 21 minutes in and it's still the same show here it's like to be this close to all right looks like next on the tape i just hit play there appears to be a nature show or documentary about giraffes and it seems like uh these people have some giraffes that are poking their heads into the window while they're having dinner and just eating <laughs> like they're having dinner. I mean, I, you know, I can't criticize that, to be honest, because I got to say, that's that's pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having dinner with some giraffe. Look, what the heck? Where is this? That's amazing. Wow. OK, um, sorry. Everyone's probably annoyed by the time on here. Let me get rid of this. There we go. I think the uh, correspondent there, the woman on the right, is Diane Sawyer, who I'm not sure if she's still on TV anymore, but I think she used to be on 2020 a lot back in the day. All right, I backed up the tape a little bit, and I found the end of this elder care show, and absolutely, it was recorded off PBS, so that if it was here in Portland, it would have been KOPB, um, which is our local PBS affiliate. And it seems like... It just goes right into this giraffe documentary. So whoever uh, recorded this targeted recording. But it's funny how this show and the Elder Show started like into the show. So like they put the tape in and hit record after the show had already started as opposed to using the timer to strategically record it. Okay, so that's really it for this tape. Let's try out this next one. The one that has a bunch of random writing on the spine that's this very high quality uh, what does it say? Dynarec titanium oxide tape. Very fancy. Let's see. Let's see if this one works. I wouldn't be surprised if some of these tapes are so degraded because they're old and they clog up the heads of my VCR and I'm going to have to like take the cover off to clean it. Oh, got to hit play because these don't have the record tab broken out. Okay, we have a music video here. This is Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know how much of this I can show because it's racy and it's copyrighted, of course. And it looks like this recorded off like MTV or VH1 or something because, uh, oh, MTV right there, MTV Blocks. Another Madonna song here as well. Let's see if I can fix this tracking problem here and get rid of that line. Oh, there we go. Nope. That's interesting how that line in the middle of the picture there doesn't go away. Let's just take a look at the tape and see if there's a crease in it or something. 
Yep, there is a crease in the tape. You can see it right there. You see that line there? That is why we're visibly seeing that artifact in the playback image. Just trying to get the camera to focus there. Oops, there we go, yep. So this tape got played through a VCR at some point that um, wasn't so nice to it. Wasn't so nice to it. Okay, let's see here. Now this appears to be recorded in EP mode, so not SP. And you can, so yeah, the number of little lines you see there while it's fast forward, a little bit of static. Uh, SP tapes, which is the slower, higher quality, has less lines because there's less footage. Oh, there's a, a video DJ here. We gotta watch this. Uh, sorry about the box there that says SCART. That is my little capture device. And unfortunately, that's just the way it works. Whenever there's like an unstable signal, it pops up occasionally and it stays around forever and there's no way for me to get rid of it. That was All right. Madonna, so fierce. She has so many images. She's so fast. So fierce. Does anyone recognize who this person is here? I don't. I didn't watch MTV except for like in the very early days in the 80s. Clearly, this is not from the 80s. Every night, New York's number one rated morning show personalities, weeknights at 7 p.m. on Yo, only on MTV. Yo? Yo? MTV, what a terrible network. Just. Who will be releasing? Who will be rare tracks? Wow. Exact, including their own version. I mean, whatever happened to this woman? Did she have a career that went anywhere, or did this kill her career? Because, I mean, really. Stay tuned and you'll see who I'm talking about. Taking you to your higher ground. Oh, what's this? Oh, other MTV shows. Ooh, Hawaii. So, this is when young socialites like these people didn't have smartphones. So they aren't, <laughs> weren't all like selfieing and Instagram. They were just there and present, of course, on a reality show, some MTV show. Oh, the real world. What season of that? Was that the first season? Okay, here's a movie preview. Wow, this movie is like a stinker. It's a total stinker. Is that Melissa McCarthy? I don't have any cops. We're the only two people on this island without handcuffs. It's against their grain. How can I fulfill your fantasy? Go paint my house. Exit. Is that Rosie? No, it's Rosie O'Donnell? Wait. What? What junk? Oh, no. Look at these, these yuppies. These people are yuppies. Fighting over the credit card bill to use their visa card because now 10 got to use your visa hold your visa card up wow american airlines oh that's their old livery back when the planes were silver or aluminum nice unpainted wow i mean commercials are dumb now anyways but ooh. yeah Deodorant. Look at those CRTs back there. I love it. Look at all those CRTs. Everything CRTs. So when is this from? The late 90s, I guess? Okay, I, I'm totally just loving the fact that there's CRTs everywhere. Look at the tape tape drive back there. Give me a break. There would no one be easy a tape drive when this thing was uh, when this thing was being uh, that commercial was being made, I mean. Oh yeah, little kids' toys and stuff. Who had one of those things? I certainly didn't. I, I don't know what year this was from, but pretty sure I was uh, not playing with toys like that anymore. Too much each year for your life insurance. Well, it won't cost you a cent to find out. That's because a company called Select. Oh, look at that awesome computer! Is that an Epson? I freaking love it. Was that with a green screen and everything? Oh, it's a total XT. That's freaking awesome. Select quote. Is that a life insurance company? Like who, did anyone have that? Any of my viewers have this insurance company to this day? Did you see this commercial back in the day on MTV and order yourself some life insurance? Now, I have to admit, I don't, I haven't watched regular TV in, I mean, 15 years. I haven't had cable for a long time. I've just moved over to streaming. I had, well, I had Netflix first with the DVDs that got mailed to me. Then I got streaming. So I don't know what current day commercials are like. Here's an MTV commercial with more Madonna. Oh, 
REM. Okay, so yeah, this has got to be like late 90s. It's got to be late 90s. That was the Red Hot Chili Peppers with Soul to Squeeze on my Dallas, and you're watching MTV Blocks. I Dallas? Sure stay tuned for MTV I Dallas? Jams. No, not with Bill, with me at 10 o'clock because uh, Bill's not feeling well today and I'm going to take over. I hope you don't mind. On the Boomerang soundtrack. This seems um, a little cringeworthy to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I don't know if I thought that back in the day if I had seen this, but now it seems cringeworthy. Okay, I think we have, an, we have another movie preview here. They've come to our world. This movie looks so bad. What? Is this a remake of the Body Snatchers? The only safe place left is in our minds. What? Tr trust no one? Oh please, this is so ridiculous. Where they'll be waiting. Chuck it! Get it off him! Get it off! I like that CRT though. I just the puppet, the puppet masters rated R. These are movies that like no one has watched ever again. Like terrible. All of them are terrible. Jam it, so listen quick. Quiz with very cool questions. Whoa, this is so 90s. Like Madonna's movies, Moses Malone's paycheck. What's Brenda? Is that supposed to be like a, a smartphone? Play with friends, play it alone. You got a quiz whiz to be a wise guy. Quiz whiz comes with a thousand one questions. Over 20 other I've never heard of this. I have never heard of it. All right. There it is. We can date this tape, October 4th, 1994. So that's when this is from. I thought this was later. <laughs> this is from the early 90s. Only Time Bank. Time Bank from Sprint. One free minute for every five minutes. Candace, uh, what was her name? Um, oh, the pin drop. Oh, wow, wow. I forgot about that. Super Bowl. Okay, so the fact that it's from 94, that explains why everything is CRT based, right? We didn't even have LCDs. It was like just a, a glimmer in people's eyes that those were coming. Um, oh, 2001. Oh, look at this TV ad. Wait, Zenith? What? Television evolves. Evolved television? The world's most Zenith star What? Look at that. Wait, how do I pause? Uh, treat banana cream pie. Wait. Wow. Look at those TVs. They're so curvy. Like bulbous, bulbous screens. <laughs> Complete. And did you see that menu? Though that on-screen guide? Pretty advanced. I wonder. It must have had a modem. That's the only thing I can think of. Or maybe it was getting that guide data from one of the TV channels, like PBS or something. Setting a new stand. Star Sight. Not available in AVI models. Okay. All right, we're back to videos and we have Tony Braxton. Um, I think her career went down the tubes, didn't it? <laughs> I think she had like, I think she had that song that was really popular called Unbreak My Heart. And um, I remember that she had gone, I think bankrupt. <laughs> And I heard someone joking, saying, unbreak my wallet. <laughs> What's going to be her next song? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, uh, she was popular, though. I do remember that. So I guess at the, I guess at the time, uh, what this show was doing is they were playing, like, oh, MTV News. Kurt Loder. Yeah, I remember him. That was it? Wait, what? What is case study? What is this? World. So weird. MTV was like trying to be edgy. I think people kind of stopped watching music videos by the time this came around. So they were trying to like do different things and get people to watch. So what is this? Filler, I suppose. Because music videos aren't all the same exact length, so you do need filler material. And that's clearly what this is. MTV. TV. How would you like to join us in the definitive? New Line Cinema, yeah. What? Look at this. Told you he was dead. Since what you... is this? this? How come every movie preview is for some... Oh. Oh, this is obviously Nightmare on Elm Street, one of the later ones. Last laugh. And... Crossover. Out of films. I don't remember which one this was. New Nightmare. New Nightmare. The, the first one was good, but everything else after that was kind of bad, I think. It's like every single, every single movie preview is for a movie that I've like never seen and looks terrible as well. What is this? Oh, is this for acne, oxy? Yeah. So I guess they figured that teenagers were watching MTV. So, oh, this is super funny. Oxy sensitive vanishing. 
Mm, your acne is gone. It's just gone. Oh, execute them. Condoms, man. It's for prison, man. Whoa. This is about condoms. This is this is edgy. This is really edgy. Yeah, this is about like safe sex and things like that. Um, what is happening here? Why is there all this yelling? Use one or she. She use it. Use one or get none. I'd use. I'd like them, but I'd use them all the time. Whoa. Get some. Get some or get none. <laughs> They stole. Okay, we have NFL American football with the brain. Oh, ooh, SNES or Genesis? Which is this? I don't know. I can't tell. Hmm. Oh, look, Genesis, SNES, and for the Jaguar, the Atari Jaguar lost to time that console. Of course, you know, there's a following now, but uh, whoa. The biggest doggone car sale. Okay, Multnomah Greyhound Park. So that's here in Portland. <laughs> Look at those cars. I love it. <laughs> Dog pound? Dog pound. Okay, I didn't grow up here. I didn't live here until the later 2000s here. So I've never seen these types of local commercials here. This is awesome. and experience the magic of Wonderland. Oh, oh, hey, Wonderland is still here. It's, it's, oh, it's not far from my house, actually, and I've been there. It's an arcade, and it's still nickels. Um, they have pinball, they have, like, skee ball, uh, uh, arcade machines. It's called Wonderland. Oh, okay, there's a bunch of them here. So, oh, Avalon Theater. Wait, is that the one near my house? Okay, I'm, I'm confused, but yeah, Wonderland is right by me. MTV freaking news with Kurt Loader. Recently, Cyberworld is filled with online imposters claiming to be people there. Online imposters? Cyberworld? What is this? It seems someone claiming to be Courtney Love posted a message on America Online. America Online! <laughs> this is so freaking hilarious. Hey, C. Love Doll, better message back. Nobody has talked to Grohl calm. So this was like the early days of impersonation. <laughs> People weren't used to that. They weren't ready for that. And here it was happening. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. This is like a blast, uh, blast from the past. So I'm trying to think. This was from 1994. It definitely had cable TV at that point. I might have had satellite. Oh. Beavis and Butthead on the Genesis slash Mega Drive. Followed shortly by Super Nintendo and Game Gear versions. Game Gear and Super Nintendo. Look at the footage. Which brings them into contact with such running Oh, wow. Darius Stewart and Yo Gort. And some of Beavis and Butthead's favorite videos. Vidgrid. Chili Peppers are featured in a new CD-ROM uh, game called VidGrid. CD-ROM game. Moving video jigsaw puzzles, and which looks like this. Oh, let's see this. Ooh. Oh, the light turned off. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah, I can't. I need to talk over this music because I don't want to have a copyright strike here. So as long as I keep talking, it's fine. But nice monitor there. Why are they showing so much of this? So it's a, it's a game where there's a video and you just move the pieces around. That's Pretty lame. You must have a CD -ROM wow, CD-ROM. I gotta turn the light back on here. Or or card right? inserted in your computer. There we go. Sound card inserted in your computer. Lawsuit is over, and the loser is Jefferson Airplane, the hippie era band that's been what? defunct as a group since 1973. What? What did they try? The band's 1973 live album. So, Flying Toasters. Featured this cover art of was that for the screensaver by After Dark? Which is similar to a computer screensaver program. Yeah. After Dark. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. I freaking knew it. Last week, a San Francisco federal court oh. had no case because it had never copyrighted the old cover. Oh, they didn't copyright it. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I had no idea. I didn't. I, is this on Wikipedia that Jefferson uh, Airplane sued Berkeley Systems for After Dark and the Flying Toasters? I have to wonder. MTV News. Oh yeah, it's news. Oh, back to commercials. 
All right, well, I'm gonna have to fast forward through this because we can't be looking at um, copyrighted music videos again. I've said it like five times. So this video is running quite long and we're only on like the second tape here. So I don't think we're gonna get to um, that much more um, than this tape. So let's just keep going here and check out the commercials. Yeah, I'll Next video, okay, G be the DJ next. Oh yeah, that's right, MTV Jams. Okay, what do we get here? Uh-huh, commercial for another MTV show. Uh, we have a party. <laughs> what? Oh no. It's like, what's on MTV? MTV, what's on MTV anymore? I have no idea what's on MTV these days. Um, Wait a second, is this another terrible movie? Yeah, I don't... What is this? I mean, we have... Radio Land Murders? I have no idea! How come all these movies... Oh, CRTs. Phones. Yeah. Wait, show more of that. No, what is this crap? I want to see the CRTs. I don't want this. Hmm. A Snickers commercial, okay. A product that's still around. You know, we have to look at how many things we're going to see in commercials here that are still around. We saw McDonald's, that's still here. Snickers. I think, like, the acne medication, I assume, is still around. But, like, that little uh, learning toy, that thing is gone. These movies are long forgotten because they're all just junk. What's this? Is this for a TV show? Or... You have to know Wait, most employers is this for like the army? You join the army, the US army or something? It's gotta be a, a US army commercial here. Like, <laughs> tanks and helicopters, like attack helicopters and things. Of course, now we can just play video games of this stuff, but back then, get a light, get an edge on life. Yeah, an army commercial, 1-800-USA-ARMY. I definitely remember those commercials. More dumb commercials. What is this? These are supposed scientists. What? What is that? I... Is this a clothing commercial? Yo, dudes! Anybody got a video game? Is the world ready for the Interactor? The world's first interactive game vest that lets you feel... What? What is this? Game vest? I have no idea. I wonder if uh, Clint has covered that thing on his channel. Because, <laughs> like, I mean, this is like stuff that's like just come and gone. Oh, another deodorant commercial. <laughs> oh, no. My name is Ron Brett. What is this? Got to be a local commercial. What the? We're looking for employees to work full. Telemark? In our Wilsonville, Portland, and Seattle location. Yeah, Wilsonville, Portland, and Seattle. Team that works on no lead generation and sales position. lead generation so these are like cold calling what a terrible i mean i apologize to anyone watching who might have that as a career but that's a tough job and i i can't believe there were tv ads advertising to come do that kind of work what what is this Mankind's greatest mysteries is that supposed to be stonehenge it's just like a pile of rocks that that's not stonehenge and a bunch of cool CRTs, but this is fake. The what's on TV? Oh, oh, it's like Zenith garbage again. So Zenith is gone. That program guide is gone. I don't even. I've never even used that program guide. Setting a new. Not on all AVI models. This commercial's dumb though. So whatever this is is not good. Which I can't tell. Why are they so close up with the camera? Uh, this is another army commercial. Why? It's so dumb. Edgy. It's supposed to be edgy, I guess, you know. What the f This is Slim Jim? Another product that's still around. And you know, I remember Slim Jims. It's like a cured meats thing in a little packet. You can, he's holding a bunch of them there. And I kind of remember when I was a kid, they, they tasted good. But now when I eat them, they're just gross. And I'm, I'm wondering if like they're worse now than they were back then. Like, has the quality really gone down? I mean, it seems like stuff has changed. Lysol ad, yeah, we still got that stuff. It's just a, a disinfectant spray. We have antiperspirant commercials, long distance, which is what this is. We have video games commercials. Um, we have food, McDonald's. They're I'm trying to think of what we've seen so far. Army, the Army commercials, AT&T, True USA. What a time in the USA where all these like long distance companies existed and they would like try to convert your phone line over to use them for long distance. 
So instead of using the local phone company that you had when you dialed long distance, it would actually use whoever you signed up for. And they would like aggressively try to switch you over to them. And there was this thing called slamming. Um, that was the term for when they would kind of unknowingly switch you to a different long distance carrier where like the rates would be much higher or something like that. And yeah, anyways, okay, we've already seen this. this. That Zenith TV ad is really playing a lot. Like they're pushing that program guide. I, yeah, I really, really wonder how many, how many people here watching this actually had one of those TVs and liked the program guide. And if you had it, please tell me, what was it like to use? Was it actually useful and functional? Oh, more stupid commercials. Like, I guess I was watching TV at this time. So I would have, I would have seen these commercials, but I just don't remember them. Now, when the, in the 90s, when this was happening, I used my VCR extensively with the timer to record all the TV shows that I watched. I had a bunch of tapes, and it was like one for each day of the week, and I'd stick it in, and it would record um, all the shows. Oh, another Army commercial. It would record all the shows that I had scheduled in the timer, and then I would just go and start watching them. Did I have two VCRs? I think I only had one VCR. This is that... that that game vest thing again. So this is like the early days of virtual reality. Anyhow, as I was saying, um, I would go back and I would time shift everything. So I'd go back and watch the tapes and I just would fast forward through all the commercials. So I didn't really watch commercials because I just got used to fast forwarding through them because they were obnoxious. Is this another? So Secret made something Oh, it's another deodorant anti perspic commercial. These are boring. I want something like super cheesy. I want more of those local commercials, those ones through the Portland area. Yeah. Strong. Oh, no, not this dumb commercial again. We got to fast forward this. It's, it's yelling. It's all this yelling. Uh-oh, movie preview. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, no. What is this? Well, we have like star power here, and yet... James Wood, Sylvester Stallone, Sharon Stone. The most explosive movie you'll see all year. The Specialist. The Specialist. Was this a good movie? Because I don't remember it either. Like, this is something that... Wow, I don't know. Uh, let's see where we are on this tape. Oh, we are only like barely into it here. There's a lot more to go. Okay, I need to speed this up a little bit. Altori companies cut their teeth on dolls. Okay. This is a weird looking ad. This has got to be for the army again, right? Introducing the interactor. No, it's this this dumb vest. There's a lot of ads for that thing. Oh, Pringles Light. Ooh, right crisp. Less fat versus regular Pringles. So it doesn't have olestra in it? Doesn't have can cause a le leakage out your butt? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I do like Pringles, they're pretty good, but I, I don't know. I haven't had them in a long time. Okay, look at all these people. I'm trying to make you feel really cool if you have Pringles. If you don't have Pringles, you're not cool. You do have Pringles, you look like these people, really cool. Okay, what's this? First choice, that was a cable, uh, a cable network here in the US. Long gone. So they played movies, I guess? Oh, The Saints. No, The Saints Revenge? Was that The Crow that we just saw? Intersection. All movies. D2, The Mighty Ducks. Okay, that was popular, I think. First choice. I don't even know. Tell me about First Choice. Who remembers First Choice? Because I don't remember it at all. So I've been fast forwarding through the tape a little bit and uh, we can see where we are here. It's not even halfway through and it's another Madonna video. In fact, this video is what we saw at the beginning of this tape. So MTV just repeats everything, don't they? I think that's a kind of a given. I remember hearing from friends who used to watch a lot of MTV back in the day, and, and they used to say if you just left it playing um, in the background, you'd end up hearing the same stuff over and over again. Okay. Peak 90s right here. There's yelling. It's edgy. The camera is tilted. <laughs> just look at this. Like, what is this even about? They're skateboarding on sand dunes? Why? It's so dumb. 
Like the commercial's gone on all this time. We don't even know what it's about. Like they're not even trying to convey the message properly. Okay, he wiped out. Ooh. I need a recharge. Oh, yeah? With your 90s hair? Sunny D. Sunny D. <laughs> so dumb. That stuff is terrible. And it's like sugary, fake orange juice. Oh my, man, what a dumb commercial. And peak 90s. Woohoo! I'm not gonna replicate that yell. Uh oh, another movie preview. Oh, it's for Jurassic Park. It's Unix, it's Unix, everyone. I know this, it's Unix, there it was. That SGI. Okay, so this is a movie that everyone has seen and everyone remembers, not like a lot of the other previews we've seen, which everyone forgets. There she is, the girl. It's Unix, I could open, I could bypass the security systems or whatever. <laughs> there it is, now on videotape, 25 bucks with a $5 mail-in rebate, ooh. All right, I moved on and we're back to a music video and um, I was fast forwarding, but I stopped and went back because look at that. Is that a Commodore 1084 sitting there on the bench? Yes, it is. I recognize that Commodore monitor anywhere. Maybe there's an Amiga hiding out somewhere there too. What? Oh, it's so edgy and Stridex. Look at this sideways camera action and that, that 90s hair. It's like Saved by the Bell all over again. Look at this. The static, love it. Mm-hmm. It's that simple, everyone. It is that simple. Get those zits off your face with that Stridex. So it seems like they put two local commercials together. So Telmark local, and the next one must be some cheesy local thing. The local stuff's so good because it's so cheesy. Oh, look at that cigarette. Cigar? Table pad. Oh, whoa. Doot, 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 doot. Hello, hello. <laughs> Leather at. 500 degrees. 20 years. 800 301 pads. Maybe I should order one right now. The Table Pad Company, TV ad partner, St. Louis, Missouri. Oh, Genesis, yeah. One machine that plays Sega Genesis and Sega CDs. That's the JVC XI. The JVC XI. Built in Sega CD. Fancy. I don't know how many of those were sold, but I never had a Sega of any kind, to be honest. And um, But I knew about the XI, but never knew anyone who had it. Uh oh. This is peak 90s again. Oh! <gasps> 64 bits, everyone. It's 64 bit. The Jaguar. Jaguar. Mom. Wow. Mom. <laughs> Do the math. Give me a break. Coming October. I didn't even come out yet, so. Wow. Funny to see those ads. Atari was a company at that time that could still actually make things. That was the end of the line for them, though. Something. Oh, what's this? I haven't seen this. It'll make your friends green with envy. Well, what is it? The sci fi channel on Paragon Cable. You've never heard of it? Whoa, an ad for sci fi channel. Hmm. So Paragon Cable must have been the cable company here. Uh, it's Comcast now, which is the most reviled company, one of the most reviled companies in the country. But sci-fi was new. Paragon, look at that logo, cool. Say you're dancing to your favorite CD. What is this? And you're thinking, loser. But actually, it's CDI, friends. Next generation CD player that works. CDI? Movies, man. What? Philips CDI. All these technologies that died in the 90s. Jaguar CDI. $2.99. That was the later version that had the flip down lid. The first one had a tray. I remember those in the stores and no one bought them. I didn't know anyone with them. All right, look at this 90s tastic party. Uh oh. The music ended. This has got to be uh, 
an advertisement for like a, a CD changer or something, which are new. When the oh, no. So is the party. <laughs> Dude, your loft, it's empty now. Makes a great sounding mini system that oh. plays seven CDs. Seven CD changer in a mini system. We make technology people want. Magnavox. Hmm. The next generation of cable television is here with fiber optics from Paragon Cable. Fiber? Interesting. I'm assuming like the infrastructure that's here in the city uh, that Comcast operates is all based on whatever these guys have uh, or installed back in the 90s. The future never looked better. So apply in person. Huh. Oh. Could go get a job. We're just watching the same commercials over and over again. Literally the same things. Just endless. <laughs> It's just hilarious. All right, we're in a music video here. And, um, oh, we are literally at the end of the tape or just about to end. So let me find that end. So still fast forwarding, looking for the end of the tape. I noticed that this entire tape, six hours, has had nothing but music video. So um, even though the real world was advertised and they had some other shows, obviously their programming still at this time was almost entirely music videos. That is certainly different than now. I don't even know if they play music videos anymore, but um, they, for a while, when I still had cable, I remember there was just constant reality shows on there and that's all MTV was. All right, we have a different... Oh, no, it's Adalis. Wow, she's working hard. Six hours? I don't think there's ever been any part that she's not been here. All right, so we have passed the six-hour mark. The tape must be ending any moment now. Maybe there's not exactly uh, 120 minutes or six hours worth of tape in here. I think this VCR, though, when you put the tape in there, it resets the timer. So that, that timer is from when the tape was inserted. And I think we have reached the end of the tape. And it's an R.E.M. video here. Let's just see it end. I'm going to have to talk over the music because we don't want a copyright strike. Six hours and eight minutes. You know, I never really paid a close attention to see if tapes were really exactly the length that you would think they are. Maybe the tape stretches, though, over time or you've like exceeded your capacity already. There it goes. <laughs> that was it. That is it. So there we have it. That is two tapes. Uh, this one right here, which was really boring. This was like elder care and a little giraffe thing. And then six hours of MTV. We looked at a bunch of ads. We saw music videos and video DJs and news segments and all that fun stuff. So the question I have for you, my viewers, is is anyone interested in seeing what's on the rest of these? Um, I guess depending on how well this video does on the second channel, um, I'll do more. That's, I don't think this is going to become a regular thing or anything. I won't be buying tapes or whatnot uh, to specifically to do this. There, there's other channels out there that do a really good job with this. But like I said, when I found these on the street, I just couldn't resist picking them up and, you know, wanting to see what's on them. Especially, you know, maybe we'll have a little bonus footage right here. This tape is almost done rewinding. I'm going to find the little five minute tape. I do want to look at what's on that. Uh, here it is. This is the five minute tape and there's the 10 minute tape. So move these off to the side and this VCR is very quick. All right, it is done. So let's get this one out of here. I need to keep track of which tapes we've actually looked at. You know, this tape uh, sucks. It's a good quality tape, but it has that crease in a lot of it. So I think I'm going to toss it out. All right, let's see what we got on here. Let's get rid of the display. All right, here we go. What are we going to see? It's a mystery. This might be, uh, who knows what? Nothing or something. Oh, I need to have my headphones in so I can hear if there's any sound. All right, I'm not sure this is even hi-fi because it sounds a little hissy. Oh. Hole reinforcing. Hiya, Mike. That music's great. Oh, this is so cheesy. Yeah, it's not even, it says normal. It has no hi-fi sound. Yeah, the inspection and supplemental treating team rejected it last week. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this, is, this is so funny. I love stuff like this. It's just shell rot. That's a term you would only know if you worked on wooden poles. The pole is only damaged at the ground line. The rest of the pole is pretty good. The 
this music is... The maintenance budget for next year won't support the number of so what's funny about this tape is it's it's obvious that this was a slide so a slide show presentation originally like maybe someone would come to a company and show this off and they had a slide projector and when you transfer it to video this is what you get you just get a series of still images that are from the original slides and then they added these graphics and like that blue border around it which you know it's cost effective i guess and they obviously distributed these on these uh low capacity tapes here for whatever reason. And I think that is it for this tape. Uh, where are we on here? Nine minutes, uh, 10 minutes. So basically five minutes of dead air at the end and that's that. Cool music, but um, the rest was uneventful. If anyone would like me to make a copy of this and upload to archive.org, I guess, um, comment down below. I, I don't really think anyone's if we're going to want to see this again, <laughs> but you know, just in case, I guess. All right. So let's get this tape out of here and let's look at the five minute tape right here instead of the 15 minute tape. Also interesting is the one we just looked at has a label. Like why did someone stick a label and they put tape over the record thing there just so they could record stuff onto it even though that doesn't appear to be the case. All right, this one is rewound and let's see what's in the five minute tape here. This one does not have the right protect tab broken out. Let's see if anything's even on here. It sounds crunchy and we're not really getting anything. Oh, what the heck? There's no audio. Is this like stop motion? Like someone made this with clay and um, it's weird, it's just repeating. Very unusual and it's got the little artifacts on the side, but yeah, it's definitely like a stop motion clip here. No sound and it just repeats. Very weird. Oops, I was checking if it was hi-fi and it ended. That's it. We had 42 seconds of video there. The counter's not moving anymore because it needs the um, video signal that actually counts the frames or whatever, the sync, the sync pulses. And that's, that's that. I'll just fast forward to make sure there's nothing else on here, but I don't think there will be. Nope, that's it. The tape just had those 42 seconds of that stop motion stuff, and that's it. Very, very odd. All right, well, that is actually going to be it for this video. So like I said earlier, if you enjoy this kind of thing, definitely let me know, and I can at least go through the rest of these tapes. I won't make it a normal thing. I thought it would just be fun, and to be honest, I was going to do this anyways because I was going to check out what's on these tapes, and why not make a video about it? So, yeah, there we go. So, huge thanks to my patrons. Their names are scrolling up the screen. Um, you can become a patron at the link in the description below. And I really appreciate all the support I get from them. It honestly makes all of this possible for me to do. And if you like this video, thumbs up. Uh, comment down below. Subscribe. All the usual stuff. And I guess that's going to be that. So, stay healthy, stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.